Hey everyone, AppChasers.com. Today we're taking our first look at the new JW Language app. You can see I've got it here in the App Store on my iPhone. And of course we've got the other apps that are offered by Jehovah's Witnesses. JW Language being at the top. So I'll go ahead and download that right now. And it'll install right on our iPhone home screen. Okay, so we've got JW Language now installed on our iPhone home screen. And I'll show you what happens when you open it for the first time. It launches the app and it's going to require you to pick two languages. The first one being your primary language. Now, this is the language that you're going to use within the interface of JW Language. So we'll choose our primary language here. We'll tap on that and we'll choose English for this example. Now, it's going to download all the assets that are needed for the English language. And you can see it's about 114 megabytes. The other languages vary by size, uh, but starting off, we'll use English here and we'll allow it to download. You'll want to make sure you're on your Wi-Fi connection, although this can be done over cellular data, uh, so you want to make sure that uh, you have enough data to download these. But again, 114 megabytes uh, isn't too terribly bad. Okay, so we've got our primary language downloaded now, and it's now going to prompt us to download our secondary language. The secondary language is the one that we want to learn. In this case, we'll use Chinese simplified for our secondary language. And it'll go ahead and uh, proceed with the download of that language. Okay, we're just about done downloading our secondary language. And this will now prompt us to the next screen, which allows us to begin using the app. We've got a few different categories here that are shown. Now, the first is preaching skills. You can scroll through these categories just by dragging your finger from right to left. So just drag here and you can see the different topics that are available under preaching skills. Then next is teaching skills. You can also scroll through these in the same manner. And you've got a scroll bar uh, at the bottom of this section that shows you your progress as you're scrolling. Next, we have Bible teachings, followed by tracts, and then lastly, videos. Now, the nice thing about the videos is that part of that 118 megabyte for English and 138 megabyte for Chinese download includes the videos being saved right to your device for offline use. So you can uh, watch them in English or in whatever language you chose as your learning language. These are nice to have in the ministry as well. So while the JW Library app only allows you to download English videos at the time of this recording, the J JW Language app now allows you to download that secondary language video to show in the ministry. Now let's go into one of these sections here, for example, preaching skills, and I'm just going to tap on the view all. And this brings up a nice vertical scrolling list of all the different sections under preaching skills. The one we'll look at here is using the Bible. So we'll tap on that. And this brings up a number of different uh, phrases that can be used in the ministry uh, or perhaps at meetings. But this is the preaching section, so primarily for the ministry that we can now look at translated into the language that we're learning. For example, the first one here, the Bible assures us that, and then underneath we've got the uh, Chinese version of that uh, sentence or that phrase. So for Chinese, of course, this is a, not a Romanized language, so JW Language App will also show you the Romanized version of the language. In this case, it's pinyin. So here we can see how to pronounce the Chinese characters by using a phonetic form of the language. We can also play the language by a brother or a sister that has recorded the language for us. And they do a really nice job at reading these phrases. It's very clear and very slow. Let's try one right now. So, 
So there we go. We can see that we can play a audio version of the translated language. And this really will help us when learning how to pronounce words properly. In this view, we can also favorite different phrases. For example, we can just tap on that star button as I'm doing here. And then we can find our favorites by tapping on the left hand menu button. And that's found, I'll do it again, in the upper left hand corner. And it brings up this nice uh, scrolling list of different menu items, including our favorites. So we can see those two or three that I favorited just now. Now once we have our favorites here, you might notice that there's a little index card icon in the upper right under the magnifying glass. If we tap on that, it'll bring up the flashcard version of our favorites. So we can see our flashcards here. We can scroll through them left to, from right to left or left to right. And uh, we can also tap on them to see the answer. And then we can play the answer as well with that little play button in the lower right. We can also unfavorite a uh, phrase right from this view as well. So that's how to use the flashcard aspect of the uh, JW Language app. Let's go back here with our back arrow and we'll go back one more time and we can see that we've got different preaching skills uh, topics that we can still scroll through and do the same thing. Let's look at another one of the uh, different sections here at JW Language. This one, this time we'll look at our teaching skills. Let's uh, scroll over here and we'll look at sections of literature. So let's tap on that. And we've got, again, different phrases that we can scroll through vertically to find a, a phrase that we're looking for. Now, in this view as well, so for this entire section, we can practice flashcards. In fact, in most of the views in this app, you'll see that little index card up in the upper right-hand corner. We can tap that and go through our different flashcards just by tapping on them or scrolling through them. So there we go. And we can again listen to those. Now what if we have a phrase that we would like to search for? Well, Let's go back to home and again I did that by tapping on the menu icon in the upper left. You see those three bars there. I'll show you that again. And uh, we have a certain phrase that we want to search for. For example, let's tap on that magnifying glass and we'll look up ransom sacrifice. There we go. So ransom sacrifice and we'll search for that. And now we've found our different phrases that have to do with the ransom sacrifice of Jesus Christ. So it's a really neat way to quickly find a phrase that you might be looking for so that you can use it to teach someone while in the ministry or in the congregation meeting setting. Now that we're back on the home screen, let's take a look at some of our tracks here. We've got the excellent tracks that have been recently made available and we might want to present those at the door. Let's look at the one, How Do You View the Future? So we'll tap on that and we see the title of the track in English and in Chinese, and then we've got the different phrases that are available on the front of the tract. So those three questions that the householder can look at, we've got those ready so that we can say those. And then we have the answers also available from the Bible, including entire scriptures that we can listen to a native speaker uh, pronounce for us. One more time, let's go back to the home screen by tapping on the menu button and then going back to home. And now let's say we want to switch our language that we're learning. So instead of Chinese, let's say we want to choose Spanish. We just tap on where it says Chinese there in the upper middle section. It's got a down arrow and we can scroll through and pick Spanish this time. So now to go through the download process for downloading the Spanish language. We'll let that finish. So we've got Spanish language uh, downloaded now. So we'll scroll back up to the top of our list and now we see Spanish is available. So we can switch between these languages. For example, we'll tap on Spanish now, hit done, and go into one of our sections here. And now we've got the Spanish versions of all the books of the Bible, 
or different phrases to use at meetings or in the ministry or, again, literature phrases. So that's how we switch back and forth between the different languages, just by tapping on the language in the upper section of the screen where it says Chinese simplified here and then switching between the languages. And if you ever wanted to delete one of these languages that you've downloaded for learning, you can do that in this view too. Just swipe over on the language to bring up that delete button and you can tap on delete and then it'll be removed from your device. I also want to show you how to uh, change the primary language that, of course, the interface of the app would be in. You can just tap on the menu button in the upper left. It brings up this nice slide-in menu and go into settings at the very bottom. This is where you can choose your primary language. Of course, we chose English, but you can choose it, and that way you can see the app in a different language and learn another language uh, with the app as well. Again, all of these uh, languages, uh, the text, the audio, pronunciation, and the videos will be downloaded to your iPhone or iPad for use uh, when you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, for example, when you're out in the ministry. So that's a general overview of the new JW Language app. We hope you like it, and I think we're all going to get a lot of use out of this, and uh, we thank those who put this together for us.